Yeah, Next we wanted there. to know if uh, uh, we want to explain what a bad sector is. Uh, yeah, I don't have a drive that I can demonstrate with, but you can imagine the ins inside of, well, I should, I should say, there's, there's a couple different kinds of hard drives, right? Because now we've got solid state drives. Solid state drives don't have the moving parts. It's like your flash card in your camera or uh, flash media. There's nothing moving there. So sectors are a very different picture when it comes to solid state. On the other hand, you've got the, uh, you know, the, the more general uh, style drives, which are a, sp uh, a series of spinning platters, uh, which spin at between these days. You know what? Everything is going to be spinning 7,200 RPM, like 7,200 rotations per minute. These little platters are spinning. And there's what looks like a record needle that skips across this and has uh, magnetic access to your data in read-write. So it's throwing information back and forth all the time. And what can happen is, is that when you've got a drive that's, say, let's say you've got a one terabyte drive. So you might have three or four platters in that drive. You've got a, a lot higher of a chance of, of having a, a defect on that drive than you do in a smaller drive where there might be two platters even three platters. But once you get into the higher number of platters, you've got a, a higher risk of degradation. Each, without getting too technical and getting into sector bits and things like that, um, the sectors on your hard drive are basically individual areas of that drive that store your data. So a big file will be spaced across several sectors. In uh, a fragmenting file system, those files can get placed in sectors all over the drive. In a non-fragmenting file system or in a defragged file system, they're going to be fairly sequential. So in that large file, if you have bad sectors, which is a physical defect on that platter, uh, meaning that somewhere along the line, the data is having trouble either reading or writing from that portion of the drive, then you can have in a, intermittent uh, program crashes. You can have windows freezing up if you're using windows. Blue screen of death is a common, uh, a common thing. And certainly uh, slowdowns in your system as your hard drive is trying so hard to read and write that data. Uh, but there's something that, uh, that's a part of the drive called SMART that keeps track of these bad sectors once it detects one and it says, meh, don't use that sector anymore, right? So, but keeping in mind that this is quite possibly a, a physical defect on the drive, that thing's spinning at 7,200 RPM. So with a, a record needle style magnet going over top of this thing called the head, you've got potential for degradation, for further damage to the drive. So once you've found that your drive is experiencing a bad sector problem, even though your hard drive can keep running and can mark those sectors as bad and you can keep using it, there comes a point when the drive can fail. There comes a point when, if there's so many bad sectors, the, it, it no longer has the space to store the information about the bad sectors, and then you've just, it can't mark them as bad. So then you're writing data on bad sectors, potentially losing data. That can be a big problem. So usually when that kind of thing happens, we say, Okay, we can get away with it a little bit, but if it starts to grow, if we start to see more bad sectors uh, over the course of time, it's time to replace that drive.